protea lovers, this is an update on my Banksia coccinea. I have six of them here that have all been grown from seed and they're all about three years old. They're all planted in pure sand with some peat moss mixed in. They're all doing very well. Initially, I had some problems with them. I didn't understand the acidity that they need. They need extreme acidity. And the only way to really get that is using iron sulfate. And once I started adding iron sulfate, I started getting much better growth. I have pruned these plants repeatedly, but as you can see, they're growing straight up like corn stalks. At this point, I'm afraid to prune them anymore because I won't get any flowers. So my plan now is to let them just grow, and when I do get a flower, I will cut them back. Let's go ahead and get a little closer to these plants. Here's a close-up of one of the plants, five-gallon pot. It's doing very well. If you can get these to grow nice green leaves, you've done well. I initially had a lot of problem with yellow leaves, and it wasn't until the iron sulfate that I really started to get good, good growth on these plants with bigger leaves. Here's an example of where I pruned a plant, and you can see there looks like four new stems that have come up from this pruning right here. So in theory, you'll get uh, four flowers instead of one flower. Here's a close-up of the iron sulfate that I'm using. I probably put a tablespoon into each pot, maybe every three or so months. This is a Banksia coccinea that is the same age as the other plants, three years old. For whatever reason, it's very stunted in its growth. After three years, this plant is maybe nine inches tall. Not sure what is wrong. It's been treated the same as the other plants. It does appear, though, there's a lot of new growth starting, so, so maybe this plant will catch up. We'll see. Banksia coccinea are notorious for dying if you plant it in the ground. They need perfect drainage. In Australia, they live in pure sand. So I didn't dare try to put one in my soil here in, in uh, Sacramento. So about four months ago, I built this raised bed, and I thought I will put this plant in there and just see how it does. It'll be in an experiment. I put pure sand in this raised bed. I put a little bit of peat moss in there for acidity and drainage. And in the last four months, this plant has just taken off. I am so excited. Here's a close-up of the plant. Really thriving in the ground. I want to show you something very, very interesting. I'm going to zoom in on this leaf here. You can see how big and thick these leaves are. If you go back just a little farther, you'll see they're much smaller. Those are the size of the leaves before I put it in the ground. So once it got in the ground, it started making much bigger leaves. I'm crossing my fingers and hoping to get some bloom soon from this plant. Uh, they say it takes four years to bloom, and I think this plant is three years old. So hopefully soon I'll have some blooms to share with you.